Hello and welcome to the Gamer Ruckus channel. I've had some time to play and experience the new Season 3 content for Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And if you've been on the fence about purchasing the Season 3 Battle Pass, I'll go over some of the details of what's all included. So, is it worth it? With Season 3, it's important to note that the new maps and game modes are included for all players, not just those that purchase the Battle Pass. The new Operator Alex, though, is not available for free. The new SKS Marksman Rifle and the Renetti Pistol are also available, including select fancy weapon skins, cosmetics, and a few free Call of Duty points uh, without purchasing the Battle Pass. There is still more to come further into the new season, but one of the new operators is not included, which is Ronin. Ronin can be bought separately in the Call of Duty store. There are two options when you buy the pass. I live in the US, so it was just 10 bucks to get access to all of this fun new content. All of the weapon skins, rifle skins, all this cool stuff. Make it $20 and you could skip the first 20 unlocks right away. In my opinion, that second $20 option just to skip time playing is not worth it. You can unlock all of the first 20 tiers just by playing the game. So here is the new operator Alex, who is actually from the main story. He's back with a prosthetic leg and a great new look. As you can see, the free boxes indicate that these come with the new season at no extra cost. Everything else is unlocked with the Battle Pass purchase. XP tokens, um, which is a pretty big advantage for newer players, is that the uh, Battle Pass includes them, and weapon blueprints that include decent attachments as well. This could give you a good start to playing with better equipment and leveling up faster if you're getting new into the game. Most of these items, however, are purely cosmetic. That isn't a bad thing. When you get a new character skin, the game locks some of the variants for that skin behind different challenges. This gives you a little more reason to play, new things to look forward to, and more reasons to try new loadouts and playstyles that meet those challenges needs. I'm a huge fan of the Milsim update to the Coalition side. This adds a nice sense of realism to the characters, so hopefully we can see this in an update on the Milsim for the uh, Russian side as well. There are tons of options for the Coalition Milsim and a lot of new challenges for that character alone. One big addition to this battle pass is the Talon Tracker skin. If you didn't purchase this character already, you now have access to him with the Battle Pass. Talon alone costed 2,400 Call of Duty points, which breaks down to roughly 20 US dollars alone. Granted, you also got some fancy weapon blueprints and a cool dog execution, but I believe the original Talon skin will still be locked as his description does not say, unlocking a skin will unlock the character, but you will get the tracker. With that being said, the Battle Pass gives us a dog execution, he even walks next to you in the lobby. This is a great deal for just $10. In addition, the Tomogunshi interactable watch was also locked behind the paywall as well. Again, it included a weapon skin, some calling cards, things like that, but now you can have the Tomogunshi, which is a pretty cool interactable watch just by getting the battle pass. Now you can get one. So what's the verdict? Is it worth it? For 10 US dollars, it's absolutely worth the purchase. Additional character items that were locked behind expensive paywalls, more challenges, more character skins, executions, the Call of Duty Battle Pass for Season 3 is worth it. Thanks for watching Gamer Ruckus. Comment what you decided, and I'll see you next time.